Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Best of Art Point. Recently, I watched a video where I saw this beautiful Lenovo logo animation in the beginning of the video. And I thought, why not create this logo animation in PowerPoint itself? So, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create this kind of intro logo animation effect in PowerPoint and let us quickly start with the tutorial. First of all, you need to download some abstract background images from the internet. I have already downloaded 10 such images. Insert all these images in your slide. You can see all the images are of different sizes. But I will keep all these images at a side for a while and first I will insert a basic word art style in my slide and enter the desired text of my logo. Guys please take care that you need to insert a word art style only because this animation effect will not work with a simple text box. Duplicate the text and make as many copies as the number of images which we just inserted in our slide. Place the text exactly at the center of the slide. You can do so by hitting the arrange button and then align. Select distribute horizontally as well as distribute vertically. As I said earlier, the images are of different sizes. So we need to resize the images. You can take the help of crop tool to do the same. All the images must be completely overlapping with each other. When all the images get completely overlapped with each other, select one of the Lenovo text, align it to the center of the slide and bring it to front. Then select an image, go to the arrange tab, click align and then select distribute horizontally as well as distribute vertically. In this way, all the text and images will be placed exactly at the center of each slide. And now here comes the most important part of this tutorial. First, select the image and then while holding the shift key, select the Lenovo text. Please do take care that the order of selection must be like this only. First the image and then the text. Then go to the format tab under the merge shapes drop down menu select combine i have used this trick in many of my other animation tutorials as well and now the process goes the same for every image and text place all the images and text one by one as shown you can observe that there is a problem when we place the image and the text the text goes behind the picture so for this, you can take the help of the selection pane and place the text above the image as shown. So I have now combined all the images with the text and this is how it looks. Let me select all the images and decrease their size a little bit. Since at this stage, I cannot crop every image in the slide. So I will insert two boxes at the top and the bottom of the slide and change its color as that of the background color. This will act a kind of cinemascope effect to the slide. Looks perfect. And now it's time to begin with the animation process. So I will select all the images and add a peer animation effect to all the images. Just ensure that all the animation effects are in perfect order as that of the images. You can take the help of the selection pane for this. Add a delay of about 0 0.20 seconds between each of the effects. For the first image, you can also add any random entrance effect instead of the appear animation effect and this is how the effect looks. Awesome! Now you can add a lot many variations to this animation effect through hit and trial method like you can maybe increase the number of images in the slide. 
just keep trying something new and something different and you'll definitely achieve quality results so that's it guys i hope that this video was helpful to you please like and share the video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks for watching and see you in my next video